I'm a labor and delivery nurse, and here's what to expect right after you have a C-section. So immediately after the surgery is done, you will be taken to a post-anesthesia care unit, which looks like this. It's just basically a ward where you can recover from the C-section for about an hour or two post-op. In here, they'll take your vitals, like your blood pressure, your temperature, your heart rate, your oxygen saturation, about every 15 minutes. So you're pretty well monitored for at least the first hour post-op. Here, they'll also make sure that you're not having any pain and if you had a spinal block they'll make sure that the numbness is slowly going down so they'll check what's called your block with some ice to see if you feel the coldness here or here or here and that it's slowly going down because where you're numb you won't be able to feel coldness so it does take a few hours for the spinal to wear off so we're just making sure that you're able to wiggle your toes and um, eventually move your feet your nurse will also do what's called fundal checks to make sure that your uterus is nice and contracted and firm, which means that you're not bleeding. So we also take a look at your pad to make sure you're not bleeding too much post-op. As long as your baby is healthy and happy and hasn't gone to the NICU for any reason, then the baby comes with you to the post-anesthesia care unit. And that's where you can do some skin to skin, or if you're feeling up to it, you can also do some breastfeeding. As long as everything checks out okay in the PACU, you will be moved to your postpartum room, which looks something like this, depending on what hospital you're in. You won't be walking to this room. We will take you in the bed, and you won't be allowed to get out of your bed until about six hours post-op. Once you're out of bed with your nurse at that six hour mark, they'll take out your Foley catheter. This is the catheter that they use to drain your bladder during surgery. After that six hour mark, you can try to pee on your own and as long as you can, then the catheter can stay out. At that six hour mark, that's when you're really gonna start to feel the pain. So I recommend taking some of that pain medication before they get you up and moving. Every hospital and patient has a different experience, but usually you're staying at the hospital for at least 48 hours post delivery from a C-section. At that 24 hour mark, they'll take off that bandage that they put over your stitches and that's when you can usually go for a shower. A lot of people ask, do I bleed still after having a C-section? And you will still have some vaginal bleeding after a C-section. Sometimes it's a little bit less than if you had a vaginal delivery, uh, but you should still pack pads and or diapers to wear postpartum because you will still expect some bleeding for about six weeks. 